Okay, folks, this is a Somfy Type 550 R2 RTS CMO. That's 440 inch pounds, 14 RPM, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 2.1 amps, 45 seconds on, 1 minute off. So what breaks on these? Well, after taking it apart, you can see here that one of the wires broke to the motor. The motor is inside this tube and that little thing turns and then there's normally a sleeve here that uh, that helps count the rotations. Here's the parts. This normally goes here. That rotates. But let's get some screws back on. This is a reassembly video because we all know how hard it is to assemble and disassemble things. Uh, I was not able to get it apart more. I've got an idea of how to take it apart more but we just decided that we don't need an awning because these things are 500 something dollars yeah if i figure out how to edit youtube videos you won't have to endure all of this but i'm planning to to do all that i've been watching a lot of um New York Central CNC or New York CNC and this old Tony and I can't just hit this stuff and make it be fixed um, actually yeah I probably am capable of doing the video stuff I don't think I don't think that's my life purpose though but I'd sure like to do it So this project consisted of uh, having one that didn't work, going up on a ladder, messing around with it, finding that the motor goes one way and not the other way, trying to figure out how to hold it in place while we're taking it apart, then finding the, uh, that we already had a motor failure before. Oh, let's look at the gear pack. coolness so I think this broke all because of whoops I think this all broke because of water getting in. It was like that. It would go like this. I think that only goes one way. I'm trying to put it in backwards just to see. Hey, it does go in two ways. That might matter. I'll go in that way or... See, that rotates freely in there. I don't think that matters. But that probably does matter. In fact, I know that matters. That must go like that. Here's this. Now I, I experimented with this. This goes either way. So 
So when that end turns, uh, the blue thing stays still, and this is like the bearing surface. But I don't, I don't know why this isn't turning with it. Okay. Uh-oh, I just made some gears fall out. 80 bitty bitty bitty. Oh. That will work, but it's time for this. Yep. That went on spectacularly easy. Easier than it was to take it off. Which is kind of good news. Okay, that is the thing that gets to the encoder that tells you when you've actually made it to the um, I mean, that tells the computer how many revolutions it went through you can see there's little tiny teeth in here and there's some sort of encoder in there let's yeah let's Let's break it while I'm trying to put it back together. That's, that's the right way to do it. I have to take one of these gears out, put it in. I had to put the, that gear in first. Time is 7 p. And I can put that in. I can put those back on kind of sticks because of the glue or the um, grease. Let's see if I can put it back in. I bet you it won't fall out. Well, it, I bet you it will fall out. It's just it will fall out only because I'm doing it now. Uh oh. I don't have those lined up. Um, use my spatial orientation to figure out how mirrored surfaces are supposed to go in. Well, uh, I'm not going to bore you with actually making sure it fits. Um, I think I put everything in the right spot. I just have to jiggle it. Jiggle it. Actually, yep, now all that's left is my nice Torx. Torx bit. Oh, um, that's not it. So you can see there's the motor uh, power plug. That's what's defective on this $500 motor. Uh, here's the motor. Um, the little tang was stuck in here. I pulled it out, of course. Um, but I, I think water got in this one because people, uh, didn't deal with it correctly. Uh, so I think this is why this motor failed. This is the first motor, uh, that was there. And then there's another one that's on it that just failed. The one that's on it goes out. But it won't, actually, it goes in, but it won't go out. So I think there's something to do with the encoder or something else wrong with it. I could probably make it so it goes out instead of in just by reversing the side of the motor. But a worm gear type thing goes in here. And of course, there's not one here. There is on the one that's actually on the, the awning. I hope this was interesting.